Hey everybody, NHORC here. Today I am at Anything RC in Peterborough, uh, New Hampshire, uh, attending a 124th scale crawler comp uh, here. They do these pretty much every month. Uh, and uh, as you can see, we've got a nice big track behind me. People are already running. And uh, I'm here, I'm running my SCX24 uh, with the new cliffhanger body on it and all the changes I've made from the uh, comp prep video, and I'll link that right here. Uh, if you haven't seen that and you wanna watch it. So, uh, yeah, I'm here with my nephew. He's running an SCX24 as well. We're both in mod class, and uh, we're gonna have a good time. There'll be a nice driver's montage. I'm doing lots of filming with the new camera, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a good time.
straight across, right up the middle. Yeah. 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 I bet that we're going to love to get a fire in. Awesome. Awesome. That's good. Yeah. Look at our toe. No, it does. Ah. Uh oh. That's bad. The dual Velcro is apparently not a good plan. Assume it's allowed to fix the body while I've got it. Yeah, when you got it. So I just finished up my run uh, in the 24th scale class, uh, the only class here, and fortunately I DNF'd because my battery died on me, uh, which is really unfortunate. So although I did run my SCX24 at RC Excitement down in Fitchburg uh, last weekend, this course is a lot longer and a lot muddier and a lot harder. And a lot faster, right? Because this, the they do a very different scoring system here, where it's just time, right? So if you hit a gate, it's a one-minute time penalty, which means the faster you can go through there, the better. Um, and in this case, I was I was having a pretty good run. I had a couple of hand of God touches, which is unfortunate, but um, 
I was like two turns from the end of the course and the motor just, the battery just died on me. So I'm gonna be picking up some bigger batteries while I'm here before I leave. Uh, because all that added weight and those bigger tires combined with stuff like mud features, it's just too much for those stock batteries. So I'm actually kind of surprised I made it this long using the stock batteries, but uh, it is what it is. I still had a good time. I love coming out. I love filming. Um, you know, there would be a driver's montage at the beginning of this. I love getting these cool shots and everything like that for the community. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll see how the scores come out at the end. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm still glad I came out, even though I'd, I died, you know, lesson learned. Uh, get bigger batteries if you're going to mod the crap out of your SEX24. It's already dead on that side. So you gotta come up here. Yep. So watch out. We can take the front end. Wet tires. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fall. You got that? Yep, I got you. But I do lose my phone on, so if it doesn't happen, if something does happen, if you're in or whatever. I did that on purpose. Last month, one spring. This month, both. Oh. Right, focus. Finish. Did you? Oh, you did? Yeah. Pretty much the whole course without them. Oh, they fell off. Yeah. Oh. Now that. Yeah, that is. He broke. Oh, 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 Once you hit it, you can hit it as much as you want. Yeah. 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 Because he was really careful three times and then he hit it. Yep. So you better have to just hit it from the Nice, you gotta move. But again, that's right. annoying yeah, the track. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Better than five. That is like almost four, four times, four minutes better. <laughs> All right, this is the miserable hill. You're ready. That's Patagonia. I thought you get a workout. Yeah. Oh, are you going to come up this way, bud? Oh, this Oh, nice. That was way better than my attempt with those tires on. Now, if you went through the mud, oh, he did go through the mud. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Oh, actually, that's right. You did go through the mud. Well, I'm surprised that those actually did go up being slick. Yeah, those are mine from the last event. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. And I, I just got destroyed right there. He doesn't have a roof rack with a spare on it. No. <laughs> 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 Ah, uh, you're stuck there. <laughs> Maybe I should have left my bigger lens on. <laughs> no way, you're totally stuck. <laughs> Very 
much finesse. Is that a sand pit? Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's already dead, so you're good. You're good Thank you. I go down. You turn. Oh, I got it. Oh, that way. Oh, that would be a rough turn. Oh, was he? Not bad at all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so one other thing, uh, I won one of the raffles here at Anything RC, so big thanks to uh, shop owner. I got myself a Furatech uh, Komodo 2204, 1400 KB. So I was never going to upgrade off of brushless uh, for my uh, off a brush for my SCX24 because the motors are so cheap. But since I won one, I've now also got uh, for attack. Uh, this is a Lizard Pro. Uh, so we'll be doing an install video on those at some point in the near future. Um, and then I guess I'll hook it up to my Futaba T4PM because why not at this point? So uh, yeah, thanks again. Alright, so if you've liked this video, please like, please subscribe, that's the big one, it really helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you next time.